everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this pyramid card or pyramid fold card. I'm not sure what to call it yet. It's completely come about by accident because of a card blank that I purchased, the shape of it, which I'll show you in a moment. But basically, I have stuck two together and this will fit into a 6x6 envelope. Well, this one's actually slightly bigger because these, are, like I said, are pre-made, but it will all make sense in a moment. But then you open it up and inside you have obviously lots of room there to write a message but the idea is then is that it stands up like this like a pyramid and it can go any you know way that you want so if you want to have you know something written on it I haven't finished this yet so I was starting to do it and now I know it's going to work I thought I'll just go straight into the tutorial so I'm going to show you how to get this shape because like I said the ones I've used are slightly bigger and then I'm going to go around and finish decorating all of this and tell you about the mats and the layers but I really like how it's come together I like how it all folds nice and flat and it fits in your envelope um, and I just like that you have so many sides to be able to really you know, go crazy with it, but mine is just going to be covered in butterflies. So once you finish it, once you see this finished, it should look really good. Okay, so these are all of the ones that I purchased. Now these were in a pack for a pound from a charity shop. They actually came like this in the diamond shape with the score line already on them. They had no writing on them. I don't know where they've come from, but um, yeah, they you know they were all ready to go. So I had them all, and I thought. I want to, you know, make a, a card with them. I just thought that was just a little bit boring, just having a, you know, a standard triangle card. So I've had to play around with them. Now, these ones here, as I said, they're slightly bigger and these ones are six and a half, you know, so I thought they're... I will do a tutorial where you can make it from six by six because I think that would be better. Or to be fair, you can do it as long as the triangle has equal sides, okay? So any size really you want, but your triangle must have equal sides. So I'm gonna work on a six by six. So I have gone ahead here and I've got a six by six card blank, okay? So make sure that all the sides are six by six because some shops, it will, although it will say six by six on it, it might be five and seven eighths by five and three quarters or just slightly shy of it. So please make sure you check your sides of your card blank first. Otherwise, if you go to cut your mats and layers and then you stick them down, they will be slightly too big. And that's because that you didn't start with a six by six card blank. And the reason I'm saying that is because some of the ones that I've purchased from well-known UK retailers are saying they're six by six and they are smaller. So I've already sent an email to those companies because I wasn't very happy when I purchased 50 of them. And <laughs> yeah, you can imagine. Anyway, so this is your six by six card blank you want to have your fold at the top and along the bottom you want to mark the halfway mark so it will be six. at this point you will also see if yours is exactly six inches but like I said any um, once you know how to do it as long as all three sides are the same it'll be okay so three inches at the bottom three inches at the top and this is what you will do to, um, you know, whatever. So say you're using 5x5, five five, you want to mark the halfway point at the top and the bottom. And then you want to draw a line through the middle. So I'm doing this to show you how you can make this in any size you want. Okay, so I've just put a faint pencil mark through there. Now, because I know that this folded line here is 6 inches, in order for me to get the same side on my other two sides of the triangle, I've got my six inch marker here. You want to line up the top of your ruler and make sure that the six inches comes in line with that pencil mark. And that is right up to the top there. So just spend a bit of time making sure you get it completely lined up. And then you want to draw a pencil mark. Okay, and then now I can just go from that pencil, bottom of that pencil all the way up to the corner. So now I know that I've got six inches, six inches and six inches. If straight away you are, you know that you've got a six by six card blank, all you actually need to do is come up from the bottom three quarters of an inch. So just do that pencil mark and just come up three quarters of an inch. You don't need to do all of that, just put a cross there. Next, you're gonna grab your trimmer or scissors and you want to cut it. So I'm gonna line this up in my trimmer, making sure that I've got the top there. The pencil line is running nice and straight. And then I'm just gonna trim that like so. And then again, go to the other side. Like so. So now I have a equal side triangle and you want to do that twice. So there's one that I done earlier. 
So now I have those two. So the way that I've just done that, no matter what size you're using, so if you've got an 8x8 card blank, you will do that same method with that size as well, just to make sure your three sides are the same. Next, what you're going to do is fold one, um, is stick one over the top, just like so. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue onto the back here. Okay, so now you will have this shape, so you can fold over any size you want. Mine's going to be opening up from the left, so I'm going to fold the right-hand side down and then that one over the top, and they will open up. Okay, so that's what you will have. Now, at the minute, it's all really bouncy. This isn't a particularly heavy cardstock. The one I've used is, I think, about a 300 or 260 kind of. It is a heavier weight, so I would recommend that you do a heavier weight because the weight of the card is what kind of holds it in its shape so just make sure a little tip that you burnish again all of your sides just so that it's always you know wanting to go towards itself because already now once we put the mats and layers down but it's it's staying in that shape which is what you want so now for the mats and the layers you want two pieces so you know on my one I've got my first mat is this gold cardstock and then the one on top is this kind of lattice um, foiled gold as well. I'll show you the paper pack in a moment. So imagine this is the gold, this is the largest mat. The same process, but this time you want a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by, by four and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. Along the longer side, you want to find the halfway marker again. So this is five and a half, so you're going to mark at two and three quarters. Okay. And again, along the top, two and three quarters, do a pencil mark all the way through the line. And then again, whatever your length is there, so it's five and a half, you're going to bring this down and make sure you've got the five and a half right down there. It's a little bit shy, but it's just there. And do a pencil mark. So because you're working with angles, it's always a little bit more... Um, I guess concentration is needed, but you're just taking, it looks like hardly anything, you know, you're almost going to the bottom, but I've come up about a quarter of an inch there from the bottom. Again, trim that. Okay, and you are going to want to do that six times if you want to have the same mat on all of your three sides here and three sides in the middle, but you'll see now that that will fit perfectly inside. If I flip it over so you haven't got the pencil mark, you get a really nice even border. Okay, so that's your mat. Then for your layer, this is a piece that is five and a quarter by four and five eighths of an inch. And you're going to do exactly the same again. So along the five and a quarter side, you're going to mark a pencil mark at two and five eighths. And again at the top, two and five eighths, join them up and then come down five and a quarter. In fact, this one will join up perfectly. So all you're doing here is you don't need to do the pencil right the way through the middle. That one is actually going to give you three equal sides, like so, and then just cut that one out. And it still does come up a little bit from the bottom. So, And again, now we've got our equal-sided triangle, and then that will go over the top there. Although that one seems a bit, little bit too big. I'm going to take a little bit off that one. I think you can afford to go off a little bit. So on one of the sides, I'm going to take about one eighth of an inch off. There we go. You just want to make sure you get a nice border from the one below, like so. And you, again, you want to do that however many times. I actually done this one five times because the one in the middle I had in white. So although I cut six of them still, I done five in the color, and then I done the middle one white where I done my message. Okay, so that's what you want to have there. So get that all stuck down, and then that will bring you to this point. Okay, so you can see what I mean there, the one in the middle, I've done the white, and I just used some silver. Although I've got gold, gold and silver work nicely together, so I've done a silver um, embossed sentiment there, and that was from stamping up. Now the papers are from this, what I'm calling vintage, um, first edition paper pack, it's botanical notes. The reason I'm saying vintage is it is... I thought it was older than what it said, but it's 2014, and I picked it up the other day in WH Smith in their clearance section. And I did share that on my what did I get video. So that's the one that I'm using there. So when you go to do your decoration, you want to bear in mind that this will fit in your envelope. So you've got all this space free, but you can only really go over the edges um, on the top one 
and on the back one, the one inside, you have to obviously be aware that it is going to be going inside. So you wouldn't want to, for example, have a butterfly when it's open, although it'll look nice coming right over, because when you go to close it, that butterfly is going to get completely squashed. So I've gone over the edge with that one because that is my top. Now I'm not putting any message on the outside, I'm just going to have it covered in butterflies and then that person would just open the inside and then straight away it just stands up perfectly because there's a lot of weight on it now. So I'm going to lay this down, I'm going to start doing my butterflies here. Now I fussy cut all these from one of the sheets, they are pearlized, um, you can probably see the shine on them there, they're absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to put the video on high speed and I'm going to get this all decorated so you can see how I've done it. Okay, so I've decorated all of mine, and then when you open it, just make sure that none of your butterflies go over this side here so that none of them get all buckled and folded where they shouldn't. And then I've just finished it with some more butterflies in the middle there. Go ahead and re-burnish it as well, you know, along there before you put it in the envelope. It just means that by the time, although if it's sat in an envelope, it will be fine, but the weight on this now, these naturally want to close. So when you do stand it up, you can just push them in there. I think my mat's a little bit, there we go. I think it looks great really like this really unusual it's really decorative as well so you know that's why I've kind of left nothing on it because sometimes it's nice I think people to keep their cards out maybe even past the birthday a little bit longer so this one is just nice and you know just a nice decorative piece so it can also be a tent you could open that up even more and you know you could change this into a tent theme or something because it's obviously that style but um, I really like this card, so you can have it any way that you want. The idea is that it kind of does go up together like that, but yeah, really like this, guys. So very unusual, very different today, but I wanted to use those triangular card blanks that I had, um, and this is what I've come up with, so um, yeah. I'm loving this, really pleased with it. So I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you give it a go. Please um, share anything that you make over on Mixed Up Crafters. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.